Walden. He's got one of those names, doesn't he, that you just want to get angry at him. Oh, Walden. <laughs> Not sure. But that's how I felt when I watched this. G'day, it's Adam here again with another quick instant movie review for you. So today I watched Walden. This is the latest film, film starring Emil Hirsch. Now we haven't seen him for a while. He was in Into the Wild and Speed Racer. He plays Walden Dean, a stenographer who witnesses all types of injustice in the courtroom. And so after he learns that he has a terminal illness, he decides to get all his repressed anger out and he starts to take justice into his own hands with some of these gruesome uh, cases that he's been hearing about. He decides to go and sort some stuff out. Uh, the cases are also at the same time trying to be solved by a couple of cops or detectives. One of them played by Shane West, who was in A Walk to Remember from ages ago with Mandy Moore and The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen with Sean Connery, infamously his last film. And, and Tanya Ramona. Uh, Luke Davis is in this. He plays a bloke by the name of George. He's really good, and it's all directed by Mick Davis, who actually, funnily enough, was creating a film called Love in Paris many, means, many moons ago, which was uh, said to be the follow-up to Nine and a Half Weeks. Yes, that famous film with Kim Bassinger, I think it was, and Mickey Rourke. I think I've got that right. This film. Um... 100% fine, it washes over you. Um, Emil Hirsch, interesting. I mean, he's really playing against type. If you look at the guy's filmography, uh, he's very much playing a bit more of a geek, I suppose, a, a invisible figure within the courtroom who just happens to have a bit of a side to him that he discovers. discovers. Um, he's all right. He sort of is a little bit annoying, to be honest with you. Kind of grates on you a little bit and yeah I just couldn't really warm to his character at all I thought the guy that played George was was really great um he's an intellectually uh, disabled gentleman who really has quite an interesting character actually and I was quite interested to see where all that was going to go um Shane West who I haven't seen in anything for ages you know he seems to have been this guy who was massive in the late 90s early noughties I mean, the cat still looks good. He, he looks like a, you know, a, a guy you'd like to see more f him in more films, to be honest. He was, he was actually pretty good in this film. Kind of, it's almost like a dark comedy, but it doesn't commit enough to being funny, and it doesn't commit enough to being dark. So it's in this kind of weird kind of middle ground, and I would have loved for the film to really just go for it. Like, if you're going to commit... Go for it. Really get nasty. You know, really, really, you know, delve in. But but what we're left with is a sort of a pretty watered down kind of, not scary, certainly not scary. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it, it wasn't nasty enough. It wasn't funny enough. It wasn't either of the two. It was just kind of washed over me, unfortunately, which is a shame because it, it could be a really interesting premise. And this did start out as being um, a film called The Stenographer, which, to be honest, is probably a better title. It kind of lends itself to, ooh, what is all this about? Um, but, yeah, eh. You know, it's a, it's a straight down the middle, f four and a half to five out of ten. I... I I couldn't venture any further than that. Um, I'd like to see Emil Hirsch. The, the only thing this made me want to do is see Emil Hirsch in more stuff and see Shane West in more things because I thought they were both, um, they're both really good actors and I'd like for them to see more things. I just kind of feel like they've been gobbled up by the system a little bit. So yeah, make some more stuff, not more of this. <laughs> Anyway, that's my review of Walden. Um, yeah, you can check it out now. Uh, it's available online. I'll put a few links in within the description. Um, yes, and I will catch you next time here in my car.